Hello and welcome to the Movie Night Pajamas Sew Along. I'm Trissa, your host, and in this video we are going to be attaching the sleeves to our bodice. So you are going to need your shirt. Um, it should have your neckband already attached and um, your placket as well should be completed if you are doing that version. You will also need your two sleeve pieces and some pins. So we're going to start off um, with our sleeve pieces and this applies to every version of the movie night pajamas whether you are sewing the children's version women's or the men's um, it's all going to be exactly the same okay so with our shirt bodice our two sleeves and some pins we are going to start off by finding the center point um, in our sleeve and marking that with a pin And then we are going to be attaching, um, starting pinning the sleeve on to the bodice. Again, always right sides together. So the center of the sleeve is going to match up with the shoulder seam. Go ahead and pin that in place. And then you'll pin the outside of the, sh of the sleeve with the bodice, the bottom of the arms, okay so I always like to start off um, pinning these three points um, with the sleeve facing up and I personally find it easier to pin the rest of the way with the sleeve on the bottom. I find it's easier to um, see the sleeve when you stretch it because you have to slightly stretch um, get everything to match up and I just feel like it's easier when you have um, the sleeve on the bottom. Um, so we are going to slightly stretch it so we can make sure this is matching up nicely and go ahead and put pins in a few places. Same thing with the other side of the sleeve. So now that's all pinned, I'm going to go ahead and pin the other side um, before I get sewing. You can sew um, this first and then pin the other side. It's up to you. But I am going to pin this first before, um, and then I'm just going to sew them both up. Okay, now both sleeves are attached to um, our bodice. So I like to, just how I like to pin most of them with the sleeve on the bottom, I also like to um, stitch with the sleeve on the bottom. I want to make sure that you're still using a 3 8 seam allowance. Um, I like to kind of go slow to make sure I don't get any puckers. You don't want to. You don't want your sleeve to creep up and get in your stitches. That has happened to me before. Don't do that. Um, so yeah, you want to make keep make sure your sleeve is flat while you're sewing, um, and then just 
Sometimes you might need to help your machine go over um, the shoulder seam, I usually do. Um, but yeah, go ahead and sew those on. Uh, going slow if you need to. If you're new to sewing, um, again, use a uh, stretch stitch of your choice. I know when I first started sewing, I like to do a basting stitch. Um, first, just because it's a little bit easier to hold everything down, then serge it on, and then take out the basting stitch. Um, not required, um, but yep, yeah, so go ahead and sew those two on, and then we'll come back. So you should now have both of your sleeves sewn on. Um, that is all that we are doing today. Um, so if you have any questions, go ahead and post in the group. Um, if not, I will see you tomorrow.